Huntsville Fire and Rescue now adding 19 positions, all while struggling to fill the roughly three dozen positions they currently have open. And Way 31's Nicole Zenick joins us now live after speaking to the fire chief about hiring efforts and the challenge in finding new recruits. Yeah, Dan, part of the challenge in hiring new people is just the time it takes to train. Let's say a captain retires. They need someone with years of experience and proper training to fill in that position. So while current employees here at Huntsville Fire and Rescue are able to move up the ladder, it leaves a pretty major hole in those entry level positions. And the chief says it is harder to fill people in those positions than ever before. We're trying our best to stay in front of the services that we need to provide to this community. 19 new Huntsville Fire and Rescue positions to keep up with an ever-growing city. The only problem is... I've got more positions than I've got candidates. The department can barely fill the roughly 35 current openings. Chief Mac McFarland says 10 years ago they had thousands of applicants, but this past year barely 100. Oh, it's absolutely the most difficult time I have ever seen. Part of the problem is the high quality of jobs in our booming city. Huntsville has done a really great job bringing in a lot of good industry. And the reality is now we're competing with the industry we brought in. The city of Huntsville is trying to stay competitive and just approved a 5% cost of living adjustment for city workers. While the chief knows this will help, he says more work still needs to be done. We've got to be where we'd be competitive in the job market. We're looking at paying benefits. We're, we're talking up administration is on top of that, trying to look at it and see if there's stuff we need to increase or we need to look at. He's hopeful more people will answer the call for action as it's the best decision he's ever made. It's a rewarding career. I've been here 39 years. I would do mine all over again. Chief McFarland says they're training their current employees to the highest caliber possible. In fact, they are booked up on all of their training classes for the next year and a half. All he needs now is new people to join the squad and take some of those training classes. Reporting live in Huntsville, Nicole Zedek, Way 31 News.